Good afternoon. Welcome and welcome back to Friday Reflection and Prayer Time. Thank you all, God's people, for joining me at this noon hour. We have come to the end of January, the first month in the new year 2023. I invite all of us uh, to celebrate God's faithfulness in the month of January, the next few days. Let us also prepare ourselves for the new month, the month of February. We continue to reflect on the piercing questions that I introduced uh, last uh, Friday. Last week, um, we looked at the question, uh, one of the piercing questions, am I truthful? Am I truthful? Today, let us uh, briefly look at another piercing, critical Christian life-related question. Am I honest? Am I honest? And I want to uh, read a couple of uh, verses from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 20 and 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 20 and 21. We want to avoid any criticism of the way we administer this liberal gift. For we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of man. This is the living word of God that God's people say, thanks be to God. So Paul's, our biblical understanding of the word, being honest. What is honesty? When we ask the question, am I honest? What do we mean by that? According to Paul, according to these two verses, when we do the right thing, when we do the right thing, that is being honest. Not to, not to lie, not to tell a lie, not to steal, not to cheat, or not to deceive in any way. That is the standard, biblical standard of the word honest, being honest. So when we do the right thing, when we are honest in the sight of God and in the sight of others, what happens? There are some wonderful merits. There are wonderful merits about being honest, about doing the right thing. First of all, we build the strength of Christian character. We build a strength. We become stronger and stronger. So honesty is a kind of a brick that is to be added to our Christian character building. Second, when we are honest before God and people and others, we do a great service to God and others. We serve others by being honest. Then when we are doing the right thing, when we are honest, we get a peace of mind. Peace of mind is a gift from God. Peace is a gift from God. Shalom. That means uh, when we do the wrong thing, we develop a guilt feeling. But when we do the right thing, we have absolutely peace of mind. We don't, we don't uh, need to be hypocrite in our facial expression, in our communication. We tell the truth, we are honest, we do the right thing. That means God fills our mind and our hearts with his peace, the peace of mind. Then we develop a self-respect and God and others continue to trust us. 
once people find out that we are not honest people, we will no longer be trusted by others. So these are the wonderful merits, uh, blessings, maybe let me call them, blessings of being honest, doing the right thing. We build and we strengthen our Christian character. We do a great service to God and others. We have a peace of mind. We develop self-respect and God and others, they continue to trust us. Just an example from uh, the New Testament. One of the great transforming and transformation stories in the New Testament, the man Zacchaeus, the man Zacchaeus. How did he become rich and wealthy? By being dishonest. He started uh, collecting tax. At the same time, he started keeping people's money for himself. But one day he met Jesus, or Jesus met him. When he came to Jesus, and Jesus went to his house, and he became an honest man, he started doing the right things. He saw the dishonesty in his life, in his profession, and he decided to live an honest life, no longer, no longer a dishonest life. This afternoon or this weekend, I invite all of us to ask this question. This is uh, one of the piercing questions. Am I honest? Am I doing the right things in the sight of God and in the sight of people? May God, may God forgive the sin of dishonesty. May God forgive the sin of doing the wrong things and restore all of us to a life of honesty. God will restore us to a life of doing the right things all the time. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and all the days of our life. And thank you for uh, teaching us uh, this afternoon how to be honest. And when we are honest, God will give us uh, a manifold blessings. And thank you, Lord, for being with us uh, throughout the month of January. In the next few weeks uh, or few days, oh Lord, we will be moving into the month of February, and grant us your grace, the sufficient grace, the amazing grace. We pray for your blessings upon all of us, and especially those who are in need of help, hope, and healing. And especially, O Lord, those who are uh, uh, being healed from surgery, from long time or short term uh, sickness. And especially, O Lord, uh, we want to pray this afternoon for those who are under special treatment, like occupational treatment, physical uh, physiotherapy treatment, and many other treatment, and especially those who are under chemo treatment. We pray for your blessings upon them. Gracious God, we pray that you would lead us and guide us this weekend and beyond, and especially into the month of uh, February, and grant us your grace, grant us your love, Grant us your power. Grant us your courage that we always make a commitment to do the right things in life, in our profession, in our family, in all of our dealings with people. We give you all glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me at this uh, noon hour and God's blessings of good health and strength to all of us. God Almighty be with all of us until we meet again next Friday. Bye now.